she hated James Dean. One, because he wasn't Catholic. Two, because he wasn't famous yet. He was just beginning, and, and he was very peculiar and not exactly what she, she wanted for her daughter. So she was very wicked to him and tried to break them up. Mark Rydell, who directed the film, he told all of us in rehearsal, we were very lucky to have about two weeks rehearsal, that he wanted us from the second we, we drove on to the studio, that he wanted us in character. Dean and Mrs. Pierre Angeli hated each other. And so, you know, every time I saw Franco or he saw me, you know, he, he would stare bullets through me and I would do the same with him. And it was actually very hard to do um, because, you know, he, he like hated me and I hated him and we treated each other very badly on this, on wherever we were. And finally, um, when we had the rap party, I walked in, I was just a little late and he was across the room and he saw me came running towards me, threw his arms around me and gave me a big hug and a kiss and said, you know, <laughs> that he forgave me. <laughs> there were a lot of scenes that were cut. One being um, uh, that Mrs. Pierangeli, as I mentioned before, hates James Dean. And so she, she goes tracking him into the commissary and, and spits on him. And, you know, I've never spit on anyone before. It was actually really uncomfortable. As close as I could imagine, James Dean being James Franco created. He smoked all the time. He was, he knew how to drive a motorcycle. Um, there's this moment, you know, apparently the story goes that Pierre Angeli was marrying Vic Damone. The mother had put them together, the famous singer. And Dean was so upset, he took his motorcycle and he drove it right up the stairs of the, of the church and revved his motor up during the wedding. Franco, he's just that wonderful kind of actor that feeds you because some actors are so boring, you know, absolutely. They, every time they say the word exactly the same way and they look at you the same way. And he just, you don't know what's going to come out next, and that's lovely.